Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you've been having a wonderful Christmas. Well, I thought I would have a small break today from all the festivities and bring you a short little video to test some of the new chains I've just received. Uh, so this is the first time that I will be using different sizes. Well, I know it's maybe not the most original technique and I've seen uh, quite, a, quite a lot of different creators using it before. But I just wanted to experiment with various sizes so that I can confidently make something different in the future. I've got a pretty small canvas. This is 20 by 25 centimeters. And as I said, I'm going to do something pretty quick. I started painting the background gold, but I've changed my mind. I'm just going to do the background blue. I'm going to use paint gray, Taylor blue and pearl electric blue and titanium white. And that's it. So if you want to see me mixing my paints, there'll be a section at the end of the video. But now I'm just going straight into pouring. So my background is going to be pretty dark. This is the paints grey, which is more like a, a navy blue. And this is my Taylor blue. And I'm just going to spread it nicely using my palette knife. It doesn't matter if those two colors mix. I need a bit more. I'll do the edges later on. So that's it for the background. Actually touching edges with my finger. I know I know everybody is very busy, uh, probably, and this is going to be just a very quick job. And especially if you want to have fun with your kids, perhaps, so you might try it out as well. So I'm going to use some chains. So this is my regular chain. I think it's two millimeter chain. I also bought. The really thick one that I've never tried before and I also have this really really tiny one which I'm not sure whether it's going even to work the, the balls are so so small but let's just let's just try I'm only going to use titanium white for my chain and I'm just going to put some white here because I don't want to contaminate the jar okay so first chain is the regular one so I'm just dipping it in my white, using my fingers. Okay, let's just position it somewhere nicely. Okay, ready to drag. Well, I forgot to say that when you use chains, it's a really good idea to have some water nearby in a container so you can drop your chain in instead of putting it like this. So this way, you know, all those little balls, they don't get clogged and you don't have to spend a lot of time later using isopropyl alcohol to clean it. Okay, I'm just thinking... Shall I use... I'll try the really small one. I really don't know what to expect. It may be just like a... like just, just a thread. Let's see if it leaves any marks whatsoever. So I'm going to put it a bit further. Well, even if it doesn't, it will still be interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, so I can have some really pretty small ones. Oh, I love it. Look at this. That's awesome. That's really pretty. I think I'm going to do some more further on. Same, same small one. I'm so pleased. I was actually worried it won't work. 
Oh, there was a bit of blue on this one. I'm much more careful. I'm kind of thinking how to position it. Lifting it up quicker. Whoa. I cut another one slightly longer. Ha! Huh. Look like some underwater plants. I think I might do another underwater painting using these. How about just the mid one, mid, mid size? Where shall we put this one? Somewhere here. Could be overlapping, I don't mind. I'm almost worried using the huge one. <laughs> Let's see. Since I haven't tried it, well, we have to test it, don't we? May not be as pretty as these. That's really, really huge. Not so easy even to position it properly. Okay. Ah! Not so bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So I think I'll put put it somewhere at the bottom and maybe make a few smaller ones in the distance. What do you think? I think there must have been a tiny bit of silicone. Uh, in the white because I can see some cells being created okay is it enough of the, of the big one oh now I'm contaminating the white but I actually wanted some sort of darker ones here. Something like that. Let's put the big one away. <sighs> Clean my hands a bit. Well, despite my white being quite contaminated, I think I'm going to add the mid-size chain. Somewhere here, just a section, perhaps. And now definitely time for my favourite little one. Where shall we put it? I probably should leave it, but I'm, I'm really enjoying this small, small one. Just... I'm just using the small chain now and I'll maybe go over some of the stems. Just with a bit more white. Oh well, that was fun. So it was quite a relaxing little exercise. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll take you for a close up. Well, I only used one size of the chain before so I'm definitely happy with the other sizes especially the little one and I can see I can already imagine using the different sizes for my underwater creations uh, perhaps some seaweeds or maybe some fish well so that was a very quick experiment today I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel. 
Also, if you press the notification button, you will know when my new videos is coming. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye and Merry Christmas. So for those of you that are sticking around, here's my paint mix. Well, I make my own pouring medium, which is half water, half PVA glue. Uh, another name for PVA glue would be Elmer's glue or wood glue. Then I mix my pouring medium with paint, two thirds of medium, one third paint. In the end, I add a dash of flow troll, which constitutes 10 to 20% of the total volume.